Hi, I'm Owen from the forums. And I'm, I'm Benny De Fernando, and this is my Wally. Put that way. Fine. And we're here to talk about our design for Sack Attack. What our plan is in Sack Attack is to have as much capacity as possible to be able to de-score from the trough, to be able to go under the trough, score on the high goal, and then when we have all of the objects, or a lot of the objects, dump them at the end in the high goal or a trough. And how we plan to do this is, first, our drive. We'll have two 393s on each side, so four 393s on a planetary system, which has become popular. And this is so that we can start out with a high speed ratio to pick up as many sacks as possible, and then later in the game, switch into high torque as it gets heavier. We'll also have an H drive, because strafing will be important, with two 393s on the strafing wheel. And then, for our lift, six bars were popular in Gateway, but... Um, eight bars, you know, six eight bars are like, so small, eight bars are like that height! <laughs> yeah, uh, we decided to add two more bars, make it an eight bar. Um, the reason for this is so, it can start uh, below 15 inches to be able to drive under the trough, but still be able to reach the 30, because you add another three inches to compensate for the lost height where it's mounted. And the gear ratio on this, one to seven and one to five, just won't cut it for this used game objects. They're too heavy if we're planning to get a lot of them, which we are. So we're doing compound gearing, there's a 1 to 5 there, another 1 to 5 there, which makes 1 to 25. And we're going to power the lift using only two motors, two 393s, and we'll use rubber bands. And this should still be able to lift a lot of sacks while having enough motors left over for a six motor drive. And for an example, we try to lift a brick using a 1 to 21 gear ratio with, while using a, th a three wire motor with no rubber bands and it lifted the brick perfectly fine. Yeah. And that brick was at the end pounds. of the arm. So yeah, that's our plan for the lift. For the intake, we already built the intake, conduct motors. Uh, it works pretty well. Should we show them how it works, Owen? Yeah, we should, we okay. should show them how it works. Okay. So basically, we have a dead pick battery thing. So we have this chain sprocket ratio right here, which allows us for maximum torque. And also a cool thing is, when um, our intakes can also ride up with our bands, and, and then the gear ratios will stay the same because of the changes uh, pivots. So now I'm gonna intake this sack. And the intake's in really good. You can intake multiple sacks, and it just pushes them back. It can intake two at once if the axle doesn't come out of the thing. There we go. Okay, so two of one. There we go. Like, no problem at all in taking them. A stack. Sometimes, oh, so, don't worry about that. It's just a little bug. Yeah. Early stages. Early stages prototype. Uh, any orientation. Stacked at any orientation. Yeah, so that's our design. Uh, it's the VT design. So, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed it. And good luck. Yeah, good luck in the second attack.